Hello my friends on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a QRM eliminator. The small device which should filtering the noise generated by the local source like the plasma TV, LEDs or cheap DC power supplies. So go ahead and let's get started. Okay, firstly, let me explain what the QRM means. The QRM is the noise in general, uh, which is um, mostly generated by the electronic devices in your area or uh, very close to your antenna or your ham shack. And um, in my case, for testing, I'm going to use a LED lamp on my desk as the unwanted noise source. As the wanted signal will be used the DCS or a DCS signal generator here and this generator will be connected to the magnetic loop antenna here on the side. So this magnetic loop will be like transmitting mag loop antenna with the wanted signal which I would like to uh, pick up on the main antenna. Uh, the QRM eliminator needs to have connected also an auxiliary antenna to pick up the noise only, so it uh, should be located very close to the noise source and it should be small as possible or short as possible to prevent receive a wanted signal. So we shouldn't be able to receive a wanted signal from the generator or from the magnetic loop antenna. Uh, the auxiliary antenna have to connect, um, uh, have to receive the signal only from the noise source in your area or in area of your antenna. As the main antenna I will use this one meter long vertical telescopic whip with transformer on the bottom for test purpose it will be placed also very close to the LED uh, lamp and it should pick up the mixture of the wanted uh, signal from the magnetic loop antenna and also unwanted signal from the noise source in this case is the uh, LED lamp. Okay so let's start to test this little device. Um, my LED lamp is turned on. Now I will turn the Zygu X5105 receiver. Okay, and the signal source or DCS signal generator. And now we can hear in the background very weak and noisy um, signal from the signal source it's barely here but uh, you can see the difference after QRM eliminator turning on Okay, so what do you think? I think it's really, really nice. And now I will show you how to use this QRM eliminator. The back side of this eliminator includes uh, three SO239 sockets. So we need to connect the main antenna here. So this will be the antenna from your antenna system and the wanted signals coming through the main antenna. TRX, con uh, TRX socket here on, in the middle you have to connect to your transceiver and the third socket on the right side is auxiliary antenna so this will be antenna located near the uh, noise source and 
this antenna have to be short and this antenna shouldn't uh, receive a wanted signal similar as in the main antenna so this have to uh, this have to receive only the noise signal and the main antenna have to receive the mixture of the noise and wanted signal this is the PTT socket and uh, it is uh, using for uh, transmitting uh, if you have um, uh, if you have the pedal you can use the PTT socket for the pedal and 13.8 uh, volts I think it's a standard uh, standard power source which you are using for your transceiver so there are three knobs on the front panel as you can see here and the power button or the power switch so uh, the gain one is is the the knob for the gain from your main antenna gain two is the knob for the auxiliary antenna and a phase is something what is phasing the this both signals together and you can filter this way the signal wanted so now I have to turn the knob gain one to the maximum because we want to listen the full strength signal coming from the main antenna the second thing is to turn the gain two into the left to the zero position and the phase you can set to the zero position too I will turn on the QRM eliminator and will turn on the radio and now I hear the noise in the background now I will turn the uh, signal source or DCS signal source and we are able to listen the signal as you can see that signal is deep in the noise now because the QRM eliminator is turned off so turn on again and leave the gain 1 on this position now we have to turn the gain 2 and we will find the better signal if you go too much signal disappear okay I think this is the best position and then you can play with the face knob in this case is the best position position zero those both positions are very uh, sensitive uh, on the signal strength coming from the auxiliary antenna and the signal coming from the main antenna uh, different ratios between those signals will change the position of those, uh, of, uh, those two knobs so you have to play with those two knobs all the time when you are on a different uh, frequency on the band if you want to focus on a different um, uh, signal uh, noise and so on so in my case the phase is on zero and the gain two is somewhere near three near two actually if you go down with the gain one we will attenuate receiving signal from the main antenna completely so therefore I leave this uh, knob in the maximum position now I will turn off the QRM eliminator and we are back deep in the noise ok 
Okay, so the link for this eliminator you can find down in the video description if you would like to see more information and uh, for the final I will show you the technical specifications of this uh, little equipment so here we have uh, technical specifications the iPadence is 50 ohms frequency range is in the short wave range and the maximum transmit power is 100 watts you don't have to forget for the PTT socket on the rear side of this um, device you can see the size power supply is for 13.8 DC power consumption uh, current consumption is 150 milliamps we can see that also on my power source so my power source shows only 70 milliamps so the uh, 150 I think it's a little bit more than it should be. Okay, and then uh, we have uh, the RCA jack for PTT, as you had seen before. Okay, so this is my new toy, my new helper, maybe in the in a noisy environment. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you, and thank you for watching. Looking forward to see you again in the next one. So 7-3 and bye-bye. Good luck.